Hey family, I pray all is well with many of you. Much love to you all. I'm going to <clears throat> title this The Dumb Down of the Consciousness. You know, um, whatever I say, family, it's just my opinion. Let's agree to disagree. And not only is my opinion intuitively, this is what's coming to me as far as being led by the Spirit. And I'm sure many of you are feeling have been feeling some type of way as well. <laughs> you know, since the Lion Gate portal had opened, you know, I'm a Leo anyway. My birthday is July the 31st. But anyway, <clears throat> um, it has really been affecting me, not in a bad way, but by me being an empath, um, uh, it's like I have been feeling very overwhelmed emotionally. And when I see certain things, it will bother me so bad. I'll have to start crying because I will feel so full by the things that I'm seeing and hearing, okay? Like, for instance, um, this is a good example. I was... Um, <clears throat> watching this YouTuber that goes by Sloan. Shout out to Sloan, okay? He's a YouTube blogger. And um, he was talking about the movie, The Sound of Freedom, and how suspicious, how many people who have been checking out this movie, how they're having all kind of issues at the movie theaters, at the AMC movie theaters, such as you know, issues with the screen. They, they shut the movie off, talking about they have difficulties, difficult, you know, technical problems with the um, movie. <clears throat> and had the people just sitting there waiting till they, you know, jumpstart the movie back up again. Or the, you know, AC wouldn't be on, and people in there, you know, they're just hot. Because it's so uncomfortable. It's like they're trying to make people so uncomfortable to see that movie. Because they don't want them to see the movie for one thing. And, um... Just seeing things for what it is. You know, uh... They really don't want nobody to see that movie. Even though they know people knows... About child trafficking. Let me just say that. Still, it's something about seeing something. It's more of an eye-opener, you know, than just hearsay. And plus, that's a true story as well. Um, they don't want the public to support that movie. So, anyway, as I was watching his, you know, video talking about it, I just became so overwhelmed, so emotional, and... Started feeling some type of way, and I just started crying, which is good. To feel is to heal, and it's good to release. It's not good to hold on to emotions, but we all do it. But um, I know better. You know, I have to release. And um, even when I release, I didn't really feel better about the re the after effect of me releasing. Let me just say that. It's, you know, sometimes when you release, you feel a whole lot better. Um, I just felt sad. I just felt sadder, you know. Yeah, I released, I cried, because um, I'm like, whoa, you know, when it comes to this generation, you know, they're our future, and we have, you know, grown-ass adults that have not healed from their childhood wounds, and they're taking it out on this new generation, you know, um, even when it comes to, you know, Hollyweird, you know, uh, they play, they're playing a part also. Um, they really are not supporting this movie whatsoever. It's really the people. And we all know the power is really is in the people. 
you know, it's, it's either you're going, you're going to support something or you're not. And many people have been supporting, you know, as far as going to the movies and watching this movie. Because it's truly an, an eye-opener when you see what goes down behind the scenes when it comes to child trafficking. I wish that I wish that on nobody. That's why I'm so passionate when it comes to, you know, uh, the readings that I do. Okay? Trying to make a difference. Trying to bring awareness. Trying to help in some kind of way. But as I stated, Hollywood is not supporting the movie. Um, you don't even see any Hollywood actors and actresses speaking about it. Makes you wonder why. And then I felt a little bitter about that. You know, it's the people that put these celebrities in the position that they're in. And when it comes to matters, when it, when it comes to situation that matters, let me just say that that we all feel that matters, they don't even speak up on it. Do you know the power of these celebrities? They have people that worship them, that supports them, that follows them. You know the power of their affluence, speaking up on these issues, speaking up on certain topics. People will listen. Yeah, that's right. They'll listen to them. But they don't speak up about a thing. All they want to do is play the game be irrelevant, make their money, and stay quiet, hidden in the shadows, because they know that's part of the contract also, to stay quiet and not speak up on those things that are going on that we all find is hideous. That's, yes, yeah, going on in Hollywood as well. Yeah, it's going on in Hollywood as well. And they knows about it when it comes to these rituals. Our so-called favorite celebrity. You'd be, you be surprised what they got on them. They got something on all of them. Okay? I don't care if it's rap, country, gospel, pop. These Hollywood elite, elite have something on all of them. You better believe that. Because they all will have attended a party or two. And they don't want to be exposed. But they want the people to support them. To continuously support them. It just makes me... It just pisses me off. And I had to watch my words. Because words are very powerful. Okay? It just, but it really pisses me off. And people are so blindly... They're blind to it. Meaning... They're still willing to support them. Even though their favorite artist is not even speaking up about it. They can really make a difference due to their celebrity status. But they won't speak up about it. Like I said, all they care about is being irrelevant. But they want the people money to support them. Watch my movie. Make sure you support me. When I'm touring, doing these concerts, pay for the tickets. And then no people out here struggling. A lot of people ain't, it's not even working, but the tickets high as hell. And they don't care. You either can afford it or you don't, but they know many who can't afford it. And they pay. Speaking about conscious, a lot of our brothers and sisters out here, they're so caught up in tits and ass. Oh, yeah. If you're doing commentary on YouTube, you get a lot of views because they know sex sale. All tits and ass. And excuse my language, I'm just keeping it 100. But you try to cover up and speak on a topic that you feel that matters that you feel that should matter to your peers, those that you feel that gets you, 
Yeah, uh uh-uh. Sex sales, remember. Many people, you know, what appeals to them is the flesh. They want to get their rocks off compared to feeding their spirit. Compared to being around or, 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 you know, socializing with spiritual like-minded brothers and sisters who get them. They're not trying to feed their spirit. They're just trying to feed their flesh. Like, that, like that's going to help you. Cause all you're doing is operating your, in your lower nature. Because once the high of the sexual arouse fizzle, should I say, then what? That's not going to help you to rise and spiral up and your frequency being raised. If anything can keep you dumbed down spiritually. Many people are not even trying to work on themselves. And you know what? This is a non-judging zone. I'm just going by what I'm seeing out here in the YouTube streets. Just period. I do have eyes. And then I talk about children. <laughs> Not just our own children, but other people's children. You know, it takes a village. That's how I was raised coming up. It takes a village. When you're not paying attention to your child, that neighbor should be having your back and watching your child. But not everybody's for themselves. That ain't my child. That ain't my problem. And they see your child in error and won't say nothing. And the powers that be, that's what they want. Division and chaos amongst the people. Because you know that's power and unity. And that's pretty much what they're trying to stop. People coming together. Communing with each other. Because they just might learn something. You know, it saddened me when I found out about that fire that happened in Maui, Hawaii. And see, when you pray about things, when things like pop off around the world, you pray about it. The Most High God, Source, will shed light on that situation and you will see things for what it really, really is. Not by what the media say, but the Spirit of the Living God will allow you to see things for what it really is, as far as why the things pop off the way it did. Or shall I say, jump off the way it did. You would think, oh, you know, just some natural occurrences. Yeah, right. It was nothing natural about that fire, family. I'm sure many of you are feeling this in your spirit. It was nothing natural about that fire. And that pissed me off. It pissed me off. How they did those people. The locals. That's been living there for years. That fire was planned. I meditated on that. And I got the energy of these so-called companies. They have agenda as always. But they're trying to move forward with some kind of project. Many people are saying smart city. Whatever this so-called project is, they're trying to move forward. But see, they couldn't move forward because it was people that, li that was living there. And they had to figure out a way of uprooting them from that area. Oh, but when it comes to those elite, rich celebrities and folks, we're not gonna touch their property. Only the property of those 
that we feel is irrelevant. We want to touch their property. Because see, we have plans for that area. And they're not a part of that plan. That's right. So I got there. They were plotting and planning, plotting and planning. And they had to think of a way to where it, looked, it wouldn't look too obvious. Okay? There are pictures, when you go on social media, it looked like a laser beam was shooting down on that area. And it had section off certain areas. Okay? And those certain areas were people that were just common, you know, folks that's been living in the area for years. The local resident of Maui. Their homes were near the ocean front. The rich elites, their home was on the upper hills further back. But this so-called fire was targeting the locals. Yeah, miss me with that one. And if you look at it from a bird's eye view, you can see how it was sectioned off. I can understand if it was a tornado. You know, tornadoes move very mysteriously to me. I think about a tornado alley. You know, it always skips over certain homes. Okay, it skips over certain homes and certain homes that don't even touch. It destroyed two and skip three. Destroy four and skip one. Destroy five and skip two. That, okay, that does happen. But a fire, a fire is no respect of person. When it spreads, it spreads. And it's sure not thinking about, oh, that's a mansion. I'm not going to touch that. Just these you know, poor folks over here. They're barely trying to make it. Or oh, they may own that home. And they've been there for years, but I'm going to destroy their resources, their property. And it's crazy. Even the boats out there in the water. People people were trying to run to the to the uh to the uh to the water out there to the ocean, to the water, to escape the fire. And do you know that the boats were also on fire? Think about it. How is it the boats are on, are sitting on top of the water and they are on fire as well? Miss me with that one also. And many people perish. And they're not even telling you the numbers of many people that were not able to escape the fire. <laughs> yeah, I got overwhelmed when I heard about that and I started crying. How can you not have a heart and think of those that are suffering around the world? You know, it, it, it's, it's easy when we're comfortable. It's so easy when we're comfortable. And yes, people can turn a blind eye too. Like I said, that's them, that's not my problem. Even when it comes to people's children, oh, well, that's them, it's not my problem. Until it is your problem, then people want all the help. They want all the attention. See, that's, that's when people's hearts becomes like a stone, okay? They heart hardens, like the word speaks about. It's like everybody's for themselves. If God is in you, and, and you acknowledge God as your, as your child, how is it that's not affecting you? You do have a conscience. How is your brother and sister around the world that's not affecting you? Sometimes I can be simply there thinking about these things and I lose my appetite. I lose my appetite and then sometimes I feel guilty. Not from the perspective of I've done something, but I feel guilty because I'm like, wow, you know, I think I think most high God was shut over my head, closing my back, food to eat, a bed to lie down in. And I see what's going on all over the world. How can it not affect me? Oh well, that's them. No. Today it can be them, tomorrow it can be us. And prayer is very effective when we all come together collectively and pray for one another. But due to distraction, everybody's too caught up. And let me
me say this. I'm not trying to make any of you feel guilty. I'm, I'm just speaking about me, you know, how I've been feeling lately, okay? I've been doing a lot of purging lately, which is a good thing, because I don't like to hold on to emotions, you know, like my heart is a rock. No, um, my heart been very mushy, okay? And it's a good thing, because I care. I care about what's going on around the world, even though I know I can't pretty much do anything about it. But I can pray and I can continuously, you know, operate my purpose, which is when it, when it comes to, you know, doing these readings, when it comes to crime and the missing, you know, I can continuously do that because it does make a difference. Even when people don't know, I received the ultimate, to me, acknowledgement when those family members hit me up behind the scenes. That's rewarding for me. That lets me know, oh yeah, God is working in you. You know, up here just saying anything. As you see, he that is in you is greater than he that's in the world that's doing the work. And I'm humbled about it and I think the most high God. But yet I still purge and cry when I've become full due to what's going on in the world and the lack of, to me, concern. The lack of people caring. Because I feel like if people put their foot down, family, it's power and unity. If people put their foot down, say the hell with these celebrities... It's power in that. But they're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. They're, they are so caught up and, you know, like zombies out here when it comes to these celebrities. If they tell them to jump, they'll say how high. Some of these celebrities got their damn concert tickets so high. And when I say so high, I'm talking about over $500. Just to be able to be up in the front. To be that close to them. And knowing they got money, okay? They're going to have money. They're going to have money right now whether you support them or not. Because over the years, you know, that money's been adding up. These celebrities are not hurting for no money. Especially the ones that have that staying power. But these same individual, you can't get them to lift a finger when it comes to any other cause. But maybe they'll do it, their favorite celebrity, tell them to do so. How come their own inner man cannot tug at their own heart and tell them, wow, you know, this is not good. Soften their heart to where they are reaching their pockets and think about somebody else and help somebody. Hell, why do people even have to say, help me? How come people just don't do it? How come people just don't do it? Well, well they didn't tell me they need help, but you see they struggling. You see they struggling. Many of us have family members that are struggling, and we won't even lift a damn finger to help them. And some people, you know, don't want you to, don't want you to know they're going through anything because, you know, they're full of pride or they just don't want to, you know, uh, come off like, you know, they're they doing, you know, better than me, you know, and Lord knows I, I can use their help, but I just don't want to be begging. Well, you know what? You should have to beg. That family, that family member knows that, you know, uh, things with you, you know, is different, especially if you haven't been working. That family, that family member know that you're struggling in some form of fashion. If they've been paying enough attention, they know. But do you know a stranger will help you than your own family? And people are going to go by color. Sometimes that race car is not even your own family. You have somebody that looks nothing like you, 
They will make the first attempt to help you. And it'll blow your mind. You'll be like, what? Yeah, that's right. So I don't know how these energies been affecting many of you. Um, the veil is definitely thinning, okay? Uh, I'm seeing like apparitions big time. I can't even look up in the sky without seeing the thing now, you know? I'm seeing planes now. They're in the sky and they're not moving. But when I pick up on it and I'm conscious of it, you know, the plane will start moving slowly. And then, and now this is when I'm driving. And then when I start to move, right, I look over at, at the plane, it stops. I mean, it stops completely in the sky. I'm like, what the hell? And then I stop, I slow down, the plane will start moving. Call it glitch in the matrix. Birds, they're flying, they're disappearing. They reappear. Light ships, they appearing. They disappear, they reappear. Seeing lines in the sky. We're we're looking lines in the skies. The glitch is real. Seeing the sky changing from blue to pink to purple. Seeing what look like a hole that's opening up in the sky. Another color. It, it just, it's, it, it, it's such an exciting time that we're living in, family. And I'm here for it. I think the Most High God allowed me to see it. I am here for it. But even, you know, I see these glitches, family. I, I don't fear it. That's just a time we're living in. Even though I see things that bother me, you know, like I said, I have my moment, I cry, but I try to get my focus on what I want to see, you know, not to dwell on it too much, you know, but to pray for those who are less fortunate than myself, those are going through something, because a lot of people are right now, okay? But, it's, you know, it is what it is, you know, you're always going to have those that are suffering, and then you're going to have those that are in the place of, you know, Abundance, you know, they come into abundance, and we all know it's a time for everything, okay? But I pray about it, I cry, I release, and then I get my thoughts back on, you know, how I choose for my reality to be. Because I told many of you not that long ago, and some years back, everything is not going to affect everybody. It's always going to be some people that are going through something that's going to be suffering. Even it came to the pandemic, I let many of you know this too shall pass. Everything's not going to affect everybody. And it's crazy when you look back on it. I bet y'all like, yeah, sister was right. I see there's something that we're going through. We got to walk this thing out. But it's two shall pass. But see, the media wasn't trying to speak like that. The media was trying to, you know, put uh, fear in the atmosphere and have people running to and fro. You know, the media's not going to tell you pray about it and, you know, think positive. No matter what's going on around you. You know, you are who you say you are. That what you desire to see. You know, believe it and speak into existence. The media's not going to tell you that. No matter what's going on around you, it's not going to affect you. The media's not going to tell you that. They're going to just constantly pump fear, fear, fear. So eventually your reality will be what you're seeing. Notice what I said. So your reality will be what you're seeing. But you can pray against that. Because they're life and death in the power of the tongue. You can pray against all of that. Like I always say, you know, the past cannot be changed, but the future can. Nothing is set in stone. But everybody's reality is going to be different for them. 
Because everybody believes different things. When it comes to their faith level, everybody's faith level is different. And a lot of people are not in tune with what's going on in the present. It's a time for everything, but many people are not in tune with what's going on in the present. They're in a box way of thinking. They are, they are just, they're not tapping in. Okay, they're not tapping in. That's all you can do, family, is make an effort. But you'd be surprised making those little efforts, how it can just really change you. Before you know it, you can be thinking different, seeing different, feeling different. But no matter what happens, just don't fear it. Don't fear it. Embrace it. That's all. Just embrace it. But they're not going to tell you that. They're not going to tell you that. How are we to think that if Earth Gaia is shifting, that we're not going to shift? If Earth Gaia is shifting, and she is, she, he, and she is, surely the Most High God children are going to shift as well. But many people walk around, walking around like zombies. It's like they have a, a, a visible leech leash on them and these so-called celebrities are pulling the leash like come on don't look over there you know come on over here you know let me distract you let me fill your ears with nonsense with the favorite music that you like then let me distract you it's enough that you know I'm not rising but hell I don't want you to rise either See, these celebrities are called stars. <laughs> Actually, they are fallen stars. Let me just say that. You're the true stars, family. Especially when you, you get your mind off of them and focus on you. You're the true star. That celebrity, that's a false light. The ultimate light is inside of you. If you learn to master yourself and expand it. You're the true stars, family. But see... The power that be want you to get your mind off of you and have you looking outside of you. And many people falling for the okie doke. And that's what they want. They want to keep you so distracted that when it comes to the things that really, really matter, People's heart grows colder to where they are ignoring what's in front of them. Much love to our brothers and sisters in Hawaii that lives in Maui. Much love to them. I, I speak restoration. We the most have got cover them. Many of them can't even get any aid, family, as far as aid coming in. You know what they want? They want them out of there. They want them out of there. They're not trying to restore their homes. They want them out of there. Because it was a hidden agenda anyway. See, Hawaii, you know, always had that area there. It, it, it's always been, you know... It carried a positive energy, okay? I, 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 I don't know if it's near a ley line or what, but it, it's, it's an area, it's an area there in Hawaii. It has always carried a certain kind of energy, right? When you go, I've never been before, but they say when you go, you know, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's like a feel-good, you know, energy there. And many people go there when it comes to, you know, um coming together, you know, when it comes to their spiritual awakening, you know, they go there and, you know, it's, it's all part of their spiritual growth. You know, many people go for that reason, okay? And, and then other than, you know, traveling uh, to vacation, but it's always been like a, a feel-good vibe era to go, okay? And 
the powers that be is trying to remove those folks, the locals, so they can harness that energy. See, everything's all about energy. Please know that. They're trying to harness their energy for their hideous agenda. They know that place is sacred. They know that Hawaii, period, is sacred. Like a host of other locations. You know, many people go there to get in tune themselves and to spiritually tap in and, and evolve, you know. They form little groups and all of that. And they go to all the, all the, they go to all these kind of sacred sites. You know, they're trying to cut all that out. They want, they want that little certain area for themselves. It's something about that site, that area. Let me just say that that area alone They want to remove the locals, and they want it for themselves. And all they're going to be doing is harnessing that energy. And what saddens me, they do all these old strange rituals. They're not trying to harness the energy for good. They want to taint it. Move the locals out and start their own hideous agenda. Using that land area for whatever they want to use it for. You will see, keep an eye on Maui. They're not trying to help those people to rebuild. That's why they're trying to buy them out now. They want some people out of there. And the sad thing about it, they can do that to any of us anytime when it comes to want to uh, take over a certain area. They have technology now, family. They can destroy a whole area in no time and have people running from that area. That's why they ban up a lot of properties in certain areas now. And then a lot of people who don't want to sell their property, they start harassing them, or they figure out other ways of getting rid of you. Notice from this day forth, when you start hearing about certain events going on around the world due to train derailment, yeah, it's something about that area, that property, that location. You start hearing about floods, yeah, it's something about that area, that location. You start hearing about fire. Yeah, it's something about that area, that location. I go even further. You start hearing about these weird storms popping over, popping up. Okay? These hurricanes. Yeah. It's something about that area that location. Peace and love to you all. Thank you for taking the time to listen to your sister. I appreciate it. It feels good. I don't have to be up here showing tits and ass just for many of you to take notice of what I have to say. Just know that as these energies are coming in, it's going to start affecting many of you. I'm sure it's affecting many of you now. For me, like I said, I've just been feeling very emotional. It's kind of like something is up, something is in the air. I can't put my hand on it, you know. And 
whatever it is, I wouldn't be surprised when it jump out. I would not be surprised. Just keep our children in our prayers, all children. Be the most like God cover our children. For such a time for such a time as this, because they're trying to harness their energy as well. They know that, that their time is limit. You think they care about the new generation? All they're trying to do is taint them. So the so-called hideous the hideousness when it comes to sexual assault will continue. Especially if these children don't get the help. The cycle will continue. Peace and love. And bye for now. Stay prayed up. Visualize the white light around you. And keep that connection with the Most High God. Love your family. My family of the light. Much love to you.